Oh my God, did it, look at that. Yes, sir. So you guys saw the wait. Today is day one of the fast. We are currently at 15 hours. That's what we're currently at right now. I did a video before doing a three day fast. You guys can check that out. I'll leave it in the description below. So this is day one. I'm going to be fasting for 86 hours. Uh, Dana White did this and he got cut within those couple of days and I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm going to do this because I wanna lose weight and then I wanna reset my gut so I can start eating clean again. So this is a great way to do all of those things. I'm gonna walk you guys through this. You guys are gonna be going with me through the whole process. Day one, I'm going to be drinking straight water. Um, I'm gonna add some electrolytes. I am going to be working out on this fast. A lot of people recommend that you shouldn't, but I wanna lose as much weight as I can. I recommend if you're going to work out while you are fasting, uh, stack up on electrolytes. Make sure you drink a lot of water. That should keep you afloat, I should say, afloat or that will keep you alive. You won't feel as bad during your fast while you are you know, working out. So today I'm gonna to be consuming water with some electrolytes. Tomorrow I'm also gonna stack up on water and electrolytes. I might actually throw in some bone broth that is great for fasting. And then I will be doing the same thing on the last day. We have an 86 hour fast, so it's about three days and a half. And I will be updating you guys every single day. Let's see how much weight I can lose within this time frame. I'll catch you guys on the next day. So it is currently 11, 12 p.m. on Tuesday, May 14th. We are about, let's check. We are 47 hours in, as you guys can see. We about, we basically have two more days. I'm more than 50% completed with this fast. So um, honestly, this time around, it feels, it feels a lot easier. And I will say, because I've been drinking a lot of water, a lot of water with electrolytes. If you have watched my last video, then you know this, but if you haven't, last time I did this, I did a three day fast and I wasn't really drinking water at all. And it was, it was brutal. I had a headache. I felt, I felt tired. Um, I felt like weak and it was rough. It was rough. But this time around, um, the water is helping. Electrolytes are helping. And I will also be eating or I would just say consuming bone broth tomorrow. So I'll show you guys which one I am using if you want to try it out. Yeah, I highly recommend if you are aiming to do something like this, drink a lot of water especially water with electrolytes that won't mess up your fast. And the best thing to do while you're on a fast is just stay busy, as busy as you can, so that way you're not even thinking about your hunger, you're not even thinking about eating, because you're busy. So um, I will see you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow at the weigh-in. So today is Wednesday, the 15th, and we are currently at, let me push this up, we are currently at 69 hours. Home stretch, 80% done. I will be drinking some bone broth. This is the bone broth that I am using. You can find this at Walmart. I'm not sure if Publix has it, but one cup is a you know serving size. 50 calories, it has nine grams of protein and 280 milligrams of potassium, which you can see right here. So uh, this is gonna be good. This won't break the fast. This definitely has a lot of protein for the serving size. Um, and we are going to eventually, like in the future, be using this like uh, to boil the quinoa. If I ever decide to eat rice, I will use this to boil it just to give the rice some protein and uh, flavor. But um, we're only gonna use a cup. I'm probably gonna warm it up. Let's do that right now. This is this is a cup. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too hot. Oh, I just can't drink all of it. Oh, 
what the fuck is this? Okay. Nice. Nice little cup there. Oh, shiznits. We're going to put a little bit more because I spilled some stuff over here. But, all right. We have a cup here. I'm just going to warm it up for about like 30 seconds. And uh, give us a great sit. All right, so we got our bone broth here. This is unsalted, so uh, it's good. It's good for the fast. Yeah, this is, um, it's not bad, but then again, it's not good either. So um, taste-wise, I will say. Macros-wise, it's perfect. The protein to calorie ratio is great. 50 calories and 9 grams of protein. So, I mean, it's not bad. You could get almost 20 grams of protein with two servings of this, which is not bad. I will say today is, like I said, we're 80% done with this fast right now. Um, we have less than 24 hours to complete this. And this, I guess you can say this is like the last day kind of I mean, it is 9 30 right now tomorrow um i will be done with the fast at 201 this has been or well, the first three days up until maybe two hours ago i felt like this was way better than the previous fast because i've been you know drinking electrolytes a lot of water but a couple hours ago i have this crazy headache i do feel like a, i'm a bit weak i, I feel the fast kind of getting to me as far as like yesterday i felt great I felt so great. I had to work. I worked both my jobs yesterday, so I was I, I felt like I was on top of the world yesterday. That was probably the electrolytes. If this is gonna be your first time trying a fast, you'll probably experience the same thing. Uh, I just highly recommend you just drink a lot of water, a lot of water with electrolytes. Get a lot of sleep if you can, because it's hard to be hungry while you're sleeping, if you know what I mean. I'm just gonna gulp this whole thing. Definitely brutal. Doesn't taste good, doesn't taste bad. We're almost at 70 hours. So um, I'm probably gonna go to bed in about an hour. This is the first time I've been able to go to bed extremely early. We've been killing it so far. Tomorrow we'll do a weight and physique check tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys then. Honestly, standing from that angle, I can't really see the difference, at least through the camera. But I've been looking in the mirror like every day and my God, do I see a difference. Like I'm starting to see my, my abs, like the forming. I'm starting to see my gut really like go down. But uh, I mean, it's cool to watch. We are currently at 81 hours right here. Um, as you can see, we're at 90, 94% done. <sighs> we're almost there, five more hours and then we'll be able to break the fast. I'm going to be at work, so I probably won't even eat until I get back home. So this fast might go on a little bit longer than 86 hours, but the goal is 86 hours. We're gonna finish it, we're gonna complete it. And as you can see on the scale, um, we are down to 203. We started at 210, we're down to 203, and we're gonna keep building after this cut. The goal for me is to get my abs back. So this is the beginning of it, and then we're just gonna continue on after, and we're gonna continue to build. And then I know I will be able to reach my goal. I will see you guys in a few hours. Wish me luck, I mean, we're right there. So we're right there, but, but I will see you guys in a few hours. We did it. Just got a little haircut. I know I look a little different, but we did it. Look at that. Yes, sir. Oh my God. I'm about to break the fast with some strawberries, as you guys can see here. I bought these from uh, Publix. Um, again, I won't be home to eat some real, real food until maybe, until maybe you know, two, two, three hours from now. So 
I'm going to break the fast with some fruits. I think this is the best way to break your fast, eating fruits or anything light. So that way, you know, the weight doesn't just jump back up. That's what we want to avoid. We want to avoid the weight shooting up because now you're finally eating food. Remember, I spent four days without no food. So if you go ahead and just eat like a, a big burger or something like that, something massive, your, your weight is going to skyrocket. And our goal is to get the abs back. That's our goal. Our goal is to cut this weight. So it's currently May 16th. The goal is to get my abs back by my birthday, which is in September. So I'm going to bring you guys along on this journey with me. I've been cutting for, I would say, the entire year. But like everything's been different from the last cut that I had. Um, you know, I'm not playing football anymore. I'm not training to play football. So I've been taking my time with this cut. Plus, I've been trying to get a balance with everything. So bear with me. Hopefully, we continue to lose some weight. So I will see you guys later tonight. I'll show you guys what I'll be eating later, um, you know, breaking the fast and everything. But we did it. As you can see, it's still counting down until I actually eat something. Focus up, man. Focus up. There it is. Until I actually eat something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right now because I'm about to eat some strawberries. But we did it. 86 hours completed. Completed. See you guys later. Finally, it's time to eat some real food. And I went to Chipotle yesterday during the fast and I bought some meat, meat and veggies, so I could eat for today. And I got, as you guys can see here, I got uh, tofu with steak, veggies, and chicken. I don't know exactly how much calories are in this. If I had to guess, it's no more than, no more than 300. Cause you know, they be crabbing at uh, Chipotle with their serving sizes. So I'm gonna cook two eggs, 140 calories, um, 12 grams of protein on top of this. And then, um, yeah, that's what I'll be eating to really break the fast. Tomorrow we will step on the scale and see what the weight is for tomorrow. And that will be the conclusion of the video. But I'm very proud of myself. This thing was tough. The last time I did a fast, it was about a year ago, I did 72 hours, I believe. I did three days, three days. I did three days and it was, it was tough, but this one was a breeze up until last night. If you are gonna try this fast, let me know how it goes for you. I'll show you guys what electrolytes that I have been using. This is the Isotonic. My boy actually put me on this. I will leave the link to this in the description down below. And then I also used Relight. This was very good. You just put this in your water. Same thing as this one. You just put it in your water and you shake it and you drink. Honestly, that kept me going. Remember, I highly recommend you drink a lot of water with electrolytes and you know salt or whatever. And then um, bone broth. Bone broth will also help. I am starving. I'm gonna get the cooking. I will see you guys at the weigh-in tomorrow. If you made it this far, I appreciate you supporting the kid. Hopefully I gave you guys a lot of insight on what it's like to do an 86 hour fast. So this is the conclusion of the video. Um, I hope you guys got a lot of insight on what it's like to go through an 86 hour fast. At first I couldn't you know, really see the results looking through the camera, but as I was like editing the video, I saw how I look you know, day one to now and the results are there. So we're gonna keep building. And from here on out, the goal is to eat as clean as I possibly can. Come September, I need to have my ass back. That's my goal. If you want to follow me through this journey, if you have been following me through this journey since January, remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We're not done yet, and we will get there. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you comment. Let me know what you think about going through an 86-hour fast. And if you are going to try it, let me know. Let me know, how it, uh, let me know how it feels for you. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Yow! Cause my jumper is water Bad, give me one more Got a clean rep, give me one more Got a Prezi jet mount, rush more One more set, need one more Got a bad, 
give me one more. Got a clean rep, give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet, Mount Rushmore. One more set, need one more. Yeah.